What's up, guys? Joe, back in the car, doing laundry, <laughs> doing a weekend report. Actually, I've had a very busy weekend. Today is uh, that date. <laughs> Can't remember exactly the date right now off the top of my head. It was a weekend that Paul had to skip tech news. This shit happened, so I'm like, all right, well. My girlfriend usually works on Sundays, but uh, she took the this this Sunday off and like uh, so we're like alright let's take advantage of it and stuff like that and uh, that we did so we have three events I was gonna make them into individual videos but I mean I got so much shit coming up as this that I'm just gonna like cram it all into one video so the first event was on a Friday we went to this thing up in like uh, Santa Ana area and it was uh, basically called creep it real old C it's basically it's just like a mini market of like Halloween related shit, right? And like uh, they actually had like the cast or some of the actors from Hocus Pocus. You know, like the first one, like the young kids. Yeah, they were there like, you know, taking pictures, doing autographs. Uh, that was kind of like the theme of it, you know, Hocus Pocus. But uh, they also had other shit going on, you know, a bunch of vendors, you know, selling their arts and crafts and shit like that. Yeah, it's pretty small. Like this area that we went to, it was like the Orange County Heritage Museum. You know, they like uh, preserved an antique house and like uh, they have like... Uh, like a garden, like uh, I don't know exactly the history of it, and I'm not <laughs> interested enough to fucking look into it to be honest. But you know, whatever. I'll uh, just show you what I got here in the sense of footage. But you know, for the most part, it's pretty much similar to every other market, right? Collectibles, arts, clothing. You know, people hang have a day to hang out and stuff. You know, you got your live music and all that shit. You know. And the thing about this day is that we made it to like a meetup event, so we went and like uh, hanged out with events and new friends and stuff like that. So it was actually fun. We got to like meet some new people. Yeah, we obviously we bought some merch and you know some collectible stuff like that. You know, there is always something they find of interest to buy. And uh, if you're interested in like uh, taking pictures with like the young virgin kid from Hocus Pocus, then you can do that. But you know, obviously, uh, I'm good. I'll skip on that. <laughs> Another thing we did is that uh, we went to Knott's Berry Farm. Like, uh, I made a video showing you, like, uh, a, the store that they had for, like, Halloween. You know, like, a souvenir shop. Like, they had, like, a bunch of cool, like, props and, like, stuff like that, right? But uh, the thing I didn't show you is on the same day, we actually walked around Knott's Berry Farm. And, like, um, I took video of the the decoration like they had up and stuff like that walking around like the park you know they had like you know a lot of spiders and like ghosts and your skeletons and all that shit pretty neat good times spiders cobwebs all that shit spooky stuff <laughs> that was a saturday so then on sunday yesterday me making this video we decided to go to like universal studios right yeah we haven't been going to universal that much even though we have the passes but like honestly i just don't like driving up there that much anymore we don't have like a home passes for Universal. Not this year. We skipped it because you know it's too much money. You know we just moved. But uh, I wanted to go and check out like the merchandise that they had and also like some of the decoration that they got for Halloween, right? So we went there early in the morning because uh, you know the park opens in the morning for like the general public and then like they close around five and they kick everybody out and then they open the park again around seven or eight for like the um, you know the main attraction which is like the hot night right so we went there early and we glad we i'm glad we did because like it was actually pretty not crowded you know so we had like the opportunity to walk around and check out all the cool merchandise and that's where i'm gonna focus mainly a lot of this video because like i took a, a lot of video on all the merchandise they have i kind of remember like merch not being as cool before you know i feel like mainly now because of social media everybody's basically a content creator in a way and like uh, people can like take pictures of, with the selfies of a shirt or products or whatever so i feel like uh universe in particular they very fo they actually focus a lot and make crazy cool merch right and they actually they have yeah they got some good quality t-shirts uh hoodies you know jackets they created like a stranger things may so they have a lot of that going on right the stranger things like uh uh, merchandise you know Vecna and all those other like the Hellfire Club and I don't know what else so they had a lot of cool stuff and related in relation to like the Stranger Things you know Chucky was also like another amazing they they created so oh uh, yeah I was actually impressed how much shit Chucky had actually yeah I was actually surprised how much love Chucky has I mean like I haven't been watching like the sci-fi uh, series for Chucky like they're up to like the season four I believe and like a lot of people showed up wearing like Chucky shirts and stuff like that they actually had a lot of cool merch related to Chucky. Like growing up, like uh, that was one of like the first horror movies I grew up watching was Chucky, you know, Child's Play. <laughs> yeah, I remember watching it and like, oh yeah, I did like that movie a lot. I haven't watched a lot of like the sequels, like the Son of the Seed of Chucky or whatever. I did not see that and none of that shit. Uh, I guess I need to catch up on that trash, but. <laughs> and of course, being a uh, Universal, you know, they had a lot of like uh, the Minions related like merchandise. 
which uh, the girlfriend's a big fan of like that cartoon, the Minions. And then of course, you know, she came across a Frankenstein Minion. She's like, this motherfucker's coming home with me. Yeah, I guess she likes to collect plush toys. And yeah, actually, like I said, the merchandise is very high quality, you know, it's like uh, the little Frankenstein thing that she got, like, uh, you know, it has like little boots and clothes. I mean, it's all like stitched on well. Yeah, like, it's very well designed. Like, yeah, like I said, everything like they've done is pretty high quality. So you definitely feel like you get your money's worth it. And like, yeah, the prices were fair, you know, like uh, everything was, yeah, 20 to $30 depending for the most part. That's pretty cool. I tried to get fucking into like uh, Super Nintendo World. I mean, we got in there, no problem. But I wanted to get, I was hoping to get on the ride because there'd be less people. But, you know, again, it's all like, oh, 100 minute wait for the ride. I'm like, yeah, fuck you. I'm good. We just walked around. Again, it's very small. Like, it's like, whatever. I just took a few pictures, you know, for the Instagram bullshit. But that's about it. But anyway, got nothing else to say. <laughs> Definitely was a busy weekend. Shit. Yeah, Halloween time. I'm excited. I'm <laughs> very fucking excited. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to be, I'm gonna be able to film that guy, film this shit for you guys. So, got that to look forward to. Anyways, that's all I got for you. Thanks for hanging out with me for a bit. Really appreciate it. Talk to you guys later. Peace.